Hello and welcome to the video lecture on NoSQL. NoSQL stands for not only SQL or non-SQL or non-relational SQL. Whatever it might be, it is different from SQL. Uh, before uh, learning about what NoSQL is, uh, let me explain in, his, uh, in a brief way what SQL is. SQL stands for Structured Query Language in which everything has a definite schema. Like to create a table and inserting the values into the table and deleting the values in the table or deleting a column or altering the values, everything there is a definite schema and definite structure. It follows some structure. It is very efficient and it processes the queries in a very fast manner. So that SQL is used in everywhere and most of the communities uses SQL because it is very fast in processing the queries. Then what is known, uh, what is no SQL is like um, like before 10 years there is no need of like very high volumes of data to be stored because there are only some limited enterprises and limited community data but what happens is after the web 2.0 revolution like what Facebook enters into the market and Google enters into the market the things are uh, ultimately changed that means there are petabytes of data releasing per second every time so the drawbacks in SQL is that scalability. We cannot easily scale the SQL databases to whatever we need. So that there is a term no SQL has been introduced here. The main purpose of no SQL is scalability. We can scale our databases into a particular mark. Like if you consider SQL, if you need even SQL can be scaled but only to up to a particular level. Like we can we can need to implement physical databases or physical servers every time. But uh, while considering Facebook data and Google data, every second there is a large transformation of data executing and transforming. So it is difficult to maintain SQL databases here because uh, we need to scale automatically. So so that no SQL has been introduced, which which is high scalable and, and it ultimately provides high performance. While well, considered to SQL um, in the issue of scalability, it is very low in performance. So that NoSQL has been introduced to support big data analytical uh, processing systems. So nowadays everything is related to data. So, uh, so every startup or every online enterprise is producing large volumes of data. So to be scaled, we need NoSQL type of databases. So then uh, what are the different types of NoSQL databases available? See, look at here. The first one is column based NoSQL databases. Column based here, the data is stored in the form of columns. Like the famous one is HBase and Cassandra. HBase is popularly used in big data systems like Hadoop. And next one is document. So here everything is transformed into a document type. The popular ones are MongoDB, BaseX, and ArangoDB. In which MongoDB is uh, most popular and used frequently by many ultimate databases, ultimate systems. Next key value. It is a dictionary way of uh, producing values in the form of key value pairs. The famous ones are Apache Ignite and Orient database. And the last one is graph oriented. In this, in this no SQL database, everything is converted into the graph form. So data is converted and transformed into a graph form. The popular ones are Neo4g and Apache Graph. So these are all what uh, different types of no SQL databases are. So remember, if you want to maintain a database which executes faster queries, then you should go for SQL only. But when should we use no SQL? If you want to scale your business or if you want to scale your website to large number of users, or you or you have a doubt that your website will be scaled automatically in the instance of uh, when users change. So in that cases, if you want to scale your website, then no SQL is a better one. But if you if you want only the efficient processing, then SQL is always the best because SQL produces faster uh, query results. So from this, uh, I would like to conclude that SQL is always better and SQL will produce the efficiency more better than any databases. But SQL fails in scalability. As the data, as the data increases and data evolutes, then SQL efficiency will decrease in the term of scalability. So on that purpose, no SQL has been introduced and successfully oriented throughout the world. The reason why JavaScript is getting popularity is because of Node.js using MongoDB database, which is a no SQL database. So we can scale the applications using MongoDB. So this is for now and thank you for watching.